Hello guys, uh, so, um, oh, let me just turn this off. Um, my 1200 fucking battery's flat so I need to take that home and charge it. So today with a piece of shit I'm going um, to get the exhaust off, I'm going to jack up the bike, take the front end off and all I've done today is I've brought some grease down, I'm going to grease the bearings, the head bearings, I'm not going to replace them. Uh, I'm just going to grease them, and while the, while the forks are off, I can just give it a bit of a clean round there then. Uh, and I'm going to try and do the same with the swinging arm, but I've forgotten my fucking chain breaker. So, if I can get this chain off, um, somehow, or loose and stick it to one side, I'll take... No, I can't get the swinging arm off, can I, because the fucking chain goes through it. Right, if there's no way for me to get this chain off... Oh, hang on. What I could do? Yeah, I can do, look. I've just spotted the split... In fact, the silly bastards have put the split lint on wrong way. I think the closed end should be the direction of travel as well, so... Um, I can get the chain off. Right, and then I'll take the swinging arm out and grease that lot up. Oh, saying that though... I need a stupid thing for that, don't I? Right, anyway, we'll see. So we'll get we'll get the forks off today, if anything, and uh, we'll grease the head bearings up. Um, obviously the fork leaks, the fork seals are leaking a bit. Fucking hell, I didn't want to do this. All I want to do is get it running, but I want to clean it while it's in this state, if you know what I mean. Right, anyway, we'll do something today. All right. Right, I've got the chain off. Um, all the split link shits there <clears throat> and the exhaust gaskets I'm going to save them because they were brand new and it's not even been started so I know they've compressed a little bit but I'm going to fucking use them again um, this top yoke were a bit of a twat to get off because I don't know if you can see that but uh, proper rusted on and I've no penetrating oil with me so Anyway, we finally did it. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is somehow try and jack the engine up so the front wheel's off the floor and then uh, we'll uh, see if we can get this front end out. Right, I bet you've not seen it like that before. Um, yep. I suggest you don't do this yourself because I don't mind doing it. This is a, as you know, I call this the piece of shit anyway. But um, I don't mind doing it because it's at least it's off anyway. The front wheel's off the floor, so I'll quickly get these forks out, grease them, and slap them back in. Oh, I'll show you when they're out. So. It's actually got taper roller bearings in, which I thought would have been ball bearings, to be honest with you, but uh, anyway. Um, I'm going to stick a, clean that up, stick a bit of grease on, um, and then put them back in. So I'll, I'll try and somehow clean all this up here while they're out. It'll be a bit easier, won't it? And then, um, <clears throat> like I say, we'll get some more grease on there. I think, definitely. So, they're as clean as I'm going to get them now. Um, the bearings, I've uh, cleaned that. So what I'll do now is I'll repack that with grease. Stick a lot of grease in there. Let it dry off first. Um, that's a lot cleaner. I don't, can you? The sun's really bright today, so I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's really cleaner, and uh, also that one. So I need to get this front end on as quick as I can now because um, obviously I don't like the uh, bike being balanced like that. Um, once the front end's on, I'll see if I can get the swinging arm off and do the same with that. 
forks are back on. All nice and greased up now. Lovely smooth action. Which is good. Uh, I'm just going to whip this front wheel off while the bike's in the air. And we'll, uh, we'll give that a grease as well. Right, um, so the front wheel seems pretty greased up okay, so I'm not going to take it fully out, there's no point, because I want to leave the discs inside the calipers, if you know what I mean. Because then it'll just be easier just to fucking put it back in, I'll just lift it back up again. So what I'm going to do is just grease in there, grease the other side, and then uh, I'll put it back up. Right. One front end removed, greased up, cleaned, well cleaned, greased up and put back on, um, which is good. So that's lovely and smooth now is that. A um, bit of advice, uh, if you've got your bike on two axle stands and a trolley jack, make sure that your fucking hands are full of grease because when I tried to undo this, yeah, to lower the trolley jack after I'd thrown the fucking um, axle stands away to one side, my hand was just slipping on the bar because it was too greasy. <laughs> I couldn't fucking turn it. So I had to jiggle around and balance around with one hand uh, while I was doing another one. Anyway, right, I'm going to uh, do the swinging arm now. Right. Back wheel off the ground now. Actually, that's spinning quite well, isn't it? What the hell? That's that is well. I'm surprised. So I'll still probably give it a grease. Um, so now I'm going to try and get this swinging arm out. Um, Swinging arm ball out of there, the nut. Fucking we're on dead tight, so I had to get that bit of bar. And then uh, I'm just using this now to get this off here. Because I didn't have one of them tools. I didn't have one of them tools, so I had to use an Allen key in there. So I shall get the uh, swinging arm off and we'll. Uh, this poor bike's been split in half today, hasn't it? So, this bolt that goes through there, that was a bit of a twat to get out. Um, at one point, I thought it was going to fucking snap, to be honest with you, because it was a creak. Do you know when you try and undo bolts and it goes creaking like that? Anyway, look at the state of that, it's fucking filthy. So I'm going to try and get a bit of degreaser on that. Um, just hope this fucker don't fall. And then we'll try and degrease that as well. And then we'll get it back in the bike. So anyway. Let's give it a go. Eh? Let's, let's get it clean because I, I want to get home. I'm fucking, my back's clean now. Right, um, fucking I've been at this for fucking ages, <clears throat> and it's still fucking, it had about six inch of fucking shit on it, so it's a little bit better, a little bit cleaner, obviously there's still all that, but I haven't got time, I need to get home, it's fucking half past one, I need to be home for like no later than quarter past two, so I need to, I need to get the swinging arm back in, so I can move it, and then just get cleaned up and put everything away, and I'm home. Right guys, um, so it's all back together now, and it's a little bit cleaner, you know, down there and stuff like that, isn't it? But it's still not as clean as I wanted it to be, but um, I've just simply run out of time. So, at least I know I can get the swinging arm off now relatively easy. Um, I need to get that back wheel off and get that tyre sorted, so just to make it a bit easier to wheel about. And then basically, I think it just needs another right good fucking wash. Um, because where I've not washed off the degreaser in time, it's dried on. Um, but anyway, 
I know it just looks exactly the same as it did this morning before I started, but um, at least everything's greased up now, which is uh, a good do. So um, I'm going to tidy up now because it's about 10 to 2. Get everything away and I'm going to fuck off home, get something to eat. I'm starving. I've got backache as well. I wish I had a bloody workshop with a proper bike bench. I could do so much more. It's hard work when you try to do it outside with no bloody ramps or fucking lifts or up like that. But anyway. Right. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.